Welcome back, everyone. This is Jaronitis bringing you Pandemicraft. Today Yay. we are starting on episode 10, and we are going to be doing some more Pneumaticraft stuff. I am currently breeding seeds, is what I've decided to call it. I am getting extra seeds of various types to continue turning them into plastic. Uh, basically, I've just got a barrel of bone meal here. Uh, with my Ender IO uh, sag mill, I can get uh, from one stack of bones, I can usually get about 10 stacks of bone meal. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, very simple to do this. Uh oh, I hear an air vent. Uh, first, let's toss these in here. We're getting extra rain plant seeds because it's one of the few I don't have large amounts of extra. Okay, we're venting over there. And they turned off. Sweet. Uh, by the way, today we are on with Max Rebo and Elroy Gaffin. Uh, Elroy had uh, Elroy helped last night in getting the uh, redstone controls fixed for the pressure chamber here. They now uh, function correctly. We put up the uh, the pressure gauge that then puts off a redstone signal. The redstone signal comes over here and turns off the compressors when it reaches a specific size uh, size pressure. So that's really awesome. And uh, I let things run a little bit, and we got some plastic. Actually, we got quite a bit of plastic. And I'm quite happy about that, because we're going to use a bunch of it right now. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to try to get the assembly line put together in this episode so that we can go ahead and be uh, assembling a bunch of things. Okay, so to start with that, we're going to need to make some PCBs. And the PCBs are actually going to be right. Nope, that's a failed PCB. Where's the normal PCB? Ah, there we go. The normal PCB. Okay. Uh, the normal PCB is a. I don't want to cook a PCB. I want to make one. There we go. It is creeper plant seeds and uh, compressed iron in here. Uh, I'm going to need um, eight. I think I'm going to need eight of these to go through the first process that I want to go through. Um, so that being said, I'm going to go ahead and make ten of them. So it's going to be ten creeper plant seeds and a creeper plant plastic and ten compressed iron. So we should be able to do that rather easily. Let's see, creeper plant plastic. All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and toss these in here. And then we're going to flip this switch. And this is going to stop anything from being pulled out. Although I think I may have... Yeah, this is going to be slowed down because I have too many seeds in here waiting already. We'll pull these seeds out and let it get through its uh, process of putting these in there. While it's doing that, we're going to look at a couple other things. Uh, let's see. We're going to... Oh, wait, I need to put this redstone up. And these seeds are supposed to be being processed. So, yes. All right, cool. So, we should be getting... Yep, there goes the iron. And the plastic is in there. But we should be able to get out some simple PCBs here in just a minute. Once we get some of this creeper plant plastic in there. Which, actually, I can go ahead and turn this back on. Because it's set to only pull out plastic right now anyway. So, that should have cleared the pressure chamber of all but the compressed iron. Excellent. Now it's going to go ahead and get those in there, and that will get that going. Uh, that will make us the PCBs. Now, if you remember last episode, I made this neat little uh, UV light box. Uh, I made it first off to cap the end of this, uh, as a, and also as a placeholder. Uh, the UV light box is going to uh, advance our PCBs. So I want to make sure that all 10 of these PCBs make it at the same time, because because of a glitch, it should allow me to advance all 10 of them in a, at one time in the light box. So we're going to do our best to, uh, to cheap that one out. Yeah, now we're starting to go with plastic. So we should start seeing PCBs pop up in here. Yep, there they go. Excellent. All right, so once we get those PCBs, we'll put them in the light box, and then the light box will uh, advance them. It will give them a better chance of etching correctly. Uh, after the PCBs are made, then we need to etch them by dropping them into some acid. Uh, I have the stuff necessary right here to make the etching acid, so we should be able to burn through that pretty quick as well. 
Okay, so while we're looking at that, we're going to look at this as well. We're going to go ahead and need to make a whole bunch of these things. Uh, we're going to need printed circuit boards, which is the unassembled PCBs, which is what we're going to get after we etch them in the acid. And we're going to need transistors and capacitors. Uh, transistors are uh, squid plant plastic, iron and redstone, uh, compressed iron and redstone that is. And then, of course, the other is... The lightning plant seeds, or lightning plant plastic anyway, and that's the other thing we're going to be putting together there. So, give this thing just a second. I have it set to not pull out anything right now, I believe. So we should be able to go ahead and change this without pulling anything out. All right. So now that those are done, we should only see why am I getting compressed? Whatever. Okay. Now pull these out. Now, in theory, it should pull all of them out at once. Oh, they fixed the glitch. Well, that's not as much fun now, is it? It used to be that you could get these things to stack. Hmm. Well, so much for that theory, anyway. All right, cool. So the PCBs are getting pulled out. Man, that stinks. I would have made this a lot quicker and easier. All right, so let's see. This is our empty PCB. So starts with empty. All right, so now that we have the starts with empty there, we're going to go ahead and toss in these ingredients. Uh, these ingredients are what's necessary to make the etching acid. So now those should be dropped in, but they should not be pulled out because we are only pulling out empty PCBs or things that start with empty. So those should get going. All right. <clears throat> Once we get that, we'll have our etching acid. And we can go on after that. By the way, this is a very effective way to do all of your seed breeding needs. I've got a piece of netherrack up here for helium seeds. I've got netherrack down there for fire plant seeds. I've got normal dirt right here for the uh, all the other seeds. Uh, squid plant seeds go in this pool of water. And then when I want to do ender plant seeds, I have one piece of end stone right here that I will then swap out for the uh, dirt right there. So I can breed all the seeds without walking more than five steps away. Isn't that nifty? I think so. This should be ready any time now. Come on, pop it together. Poof, there it is. Oh, <laughs> Geronitis is as flat a as a pancake. Sure. As cold as a cream pie, an Oreo cream pie. Well, we currently have a slight glitch with Pneumatocraft. Sometimes it shows that you are inside the pressure chamber when you obviously are not. So... Yeah, slight problems there. All right, so anyway, we can take these empty PCBs out. And stinks that they don't stack now. It's too bad. I wonder if I put them in a barrel, if I could pull a stack of them out at once. Probably not. That's most likely being corrected. All right, so we can put one of these in here. And it is going to uh, UV etch this. And as you can see, we're at 1%. Working to 2%. Oh, God, this is going to take forever. All right, so we're going to let these work through, and we will be back once these are all ready to go. Um, actually, while I'm thinking about it, while those are working there, we're going to set something else to work up here. We're going to go ahead and make, let's see, a stack of iron, a stack of redstone, and let's grab a stack of the... Um, <clears throat> squid plant plastic. All right, this is set to pull out, but it's still set to only put out something that begins with empty. So instead, it's going, well, we'll just leave it like that because we have an item life upgrade in here. So nothing in here will ever despawn. So while we're waiting for these things to etch, we'll also get this going. And of course, the black ones are the transistors, which is made again with origin plant. Uh, origin plant. I swear I'm going to keep saying that. Squid plant seeds, compressed iron, and redstone. So cool. This is going to process. These are going to process. And we'll be back in a minute when we're ready to do something with them. All right, people. So those etching things takes forever. 
so we are very slowly but surely making speed upgrades because it just needs to be done. The uh, speed upgrades require cake and lapis and speed potions. Um, so I am down here currently swapping stuff in and out and getting more speed potions. One, two, three. And we are going to be making speed upgrades. I was going to need to make these anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal having to do it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get these made and then use these speed upgrades to speed up everything upstairs. Because er everything in Pneumaticraft needs speed upgrades. It just does. It's They're a pain in the butt to make, but they are incredibly useful. So just wanted to let you know this is what I'm doing and when you come back when we come back I will have the speed upgrades in place and I don't want people to be like where did those come from because they came from right here so be right back alrighty we're back again and we are ready to proceed uh, <laughs> lots of fun happened it's been over an hour uh, trying to get these things to process I finally got them processed down. I somehow lost one. I only have nine now. I should have had ten. Uh, we had the server crash a couple of times while we were trying to get this going, but now we seem to have it pretty well worked out. I've taken the speed upgrades back out of the UV light box, and everything is back to normal. Good. I, did. I thought I'd forgotten to put those back. So now that we have the PCBs here, it says that the etch success is etch success chance is 100%. Throw an etching acid to develop. Well, earlier we made the etching acid, and the etching acid bucket was, here we go, a bucket of water, two spider eyes, two plastic from creeper plant seeds, two rotten flesh, and two gunpowder. So we were good to go on that. So now that we have this, I'm going to use this corner right here right now, because uh, in all honesty, once I etch these nine, I will never etch again. I will take the bucket of etching acid up, and we will... Uh, we will, you know, forever, never do this again. So uh, while we wait for those to etch, these take five minutes to etch. So we can go ahead and let that roll through there. And uh, while that's doing that, I'll go over a couple of things. Uh, I made a stack of capacitors and a stack of transistors uh, while I was waiting for this other stuff to etch and well, not etch to, to UV and lighten and all that stuff. And uh, so I made a stack of those. Each of those were just a stack of uh, black plastic and a stack of, I think it was the rain plastic. And then, of course, the uh, redstone and the um, compressed iron. So now that we have those ready, we're ready to make some other things. This shouldn't take too much to get together. Uh, really, the biggest thing there is to let these things uh, continue to do their thing. Um, so we're going to let these finish etching, and we'll be back in just a minute. Actually, before I go, um, I did make some more pneumatic cylinders. These were really annoying to make, and I figured I'd make them off camera. So I figured I'd let you guys know what's going on there. Um, it required quite a bit of stuff to make, and I know I'm going to need them. So where is it? Oh, yeah, here we go. And, of course, that was just the cannon barrel with the rain seeds, and the cannon barrel was just the uh, compressed iron along with the safety tube module. The safety tube module is, of course, the lever with the tube and the pressure gauge, and the pressure gauge is just compressed iron with gold. Considering how many of these you need to make, they really could have made this a lot easier. But, you know, I'm just, you know, gonna... whatever. Okay, so uh, these should take just a few minutes. Once we get these done, we should be able to go ahead and start putting together our assembly line. So, let's see. Yes, we're going to be making a couple of things. Oh, actually, while we're waiting for that to work, we can actually make one other item, since this will actually be a good a good time to do this. We're going to need... Why does this menu look different? I don't know. But we're going to need a pneumatic wrench. A uh, pneumatic wrench is burst plant seeds with a lever. I think I have some extra levers. And an air canister. And the air canister is just a pressure tube with redstone and compressed iron so we should have all of that handy yes let's make this real quick <clears throat> we're actually going to need this stuff specifically uh to get the 
other stuff put together. Um, burst plant and a lever. Do I have the levers or did I use them all? Or did I put them here? I think I used them all. That uh, figures. So we're going to need some burst plant seed plastic. That should be fine. I just got to remember to pick those items up once because otherwise they will uh, despawn. Because they it takes five minutes for them to function, but the uh, item time limit is five minutes as well. So it's like, oh, well, they'll change over and be ready to go right as they despawn. Isn't that good to know? It's one of those things, you know. It's, hey, that's awesome. It just didn't do what I thought it would do. And no, I need to be in here, not there. All right, so now we have, now that we have, okay, we'll do it manually then, that's fine. Um, was it like that? Like that? Crap. Shift clicking has ruined me. There we go. All right, cool, so now that we have the pneumatic wrench, we need something to use the pneumatic wrench with. Let's pick these up. Ow. Ow. Excuse me, um, yeah, let's, there we go, and they are at 80%, so yeah, they were very close to being done, but also close to despawning, so let's toss these back in, and while these finish doing their thing, uh, we're also going to need a charging station, because otherwise we have no way of filling the pneumatic wrench with air pressure thus allowing us to use it so the charging station is a simple pressure tube with uh, fire flower plastic and cobblestone slabs i happen to have some cobblestone slabs on me we need oh i've already got the pipe on me as well so we just need some fire flower plastic should be able to go ahead and put this together like this Bingo. All right, cool. These are still not done, but that's okay. Now then, I am uh, quite, quite, quite amazingly quite happy to now say goodbye to this stupid UV light chamber. Uh, I will keep it aside for, like, purposes for later. But at this point, yeah, I don't ever want to use it again because... Yeah. So let's go ahead and be charging this up. It's charging rather quickly. That'll be good. These should now be done. And they are. Excellent. Oh, stop that. All right, good. So now the etching acid can go in here along with the UV lights. We'll look at them. I might even put them like on a shelf over here and have like a sign that says to never to be used again because I hate them. All right, so now that we have this stuff, we should be able to go ahead and make our assembly line. And in theory, we'll get the assembly line made and functioning here in just a second. Okay, so now that we have the unassembled PCBs, what we need to do is we need to make them printed circuit boards, which is the unassembled PCBs, the capacitors, and the transistors. So we we'll shift-click that in, and now we have nine, and we even have some left over because we're going to be making more of these down the road. All right, so we're going to need the assembly controller, which we should have everything for. And, of course, now that I say that we should have it all for it, we don't. But that's okay because, you know, I get used to these things, you know, purposely being a pain. All right, good. So now we have that. I almost shift-clicked that, and that would have been, like, a horribly enraging thing to have happen. But I didn't, so yay. All right, the assembly I.O. units. We're going to need a couple of these, actually. Let's see. We're going to need... Oh, look, I even have two hoppers on me. That's awesome. I didn't think I'd have those. Sweet. So, yes, we're going to need two assembly I.O. units. And then we're going to need the assembly platform. Ooh, we're going to need propulsion plant plastic for that one. Propulsion plants. The orange stuff. Propulsion plants. Sweet. All right, we should be able to throw this together real quick. Boom, baby. All right, and of course, we're going to need the assembly laser, which we don't have the red dye for, but that'll just take me a second to go get. Let's see, gems, dust, and dyes. One red, and we are good to go. 
All right, so now we should be able to make the laser. Excellent, sweet. All right, so now I believe with those pieces complete, we can now actually assemble the assembly line and make things work. All right, so we're going to want to do this in a very specific way um, because we are going to want to have access for all the different machines. Okay, so we're going to need to have, uh, let's see. The thing Hello. is, I've, hey Max, welcome back, I'm recording. Thank you. <clears throat> so um, the big thing is that the drill, we're going to need the drill at some point, and the drill has to be next to the platform as well. So what we're going to wind up with is the controller, then the laser, and then we'll put this here. I hope this is going to work out. Then we should be able to put this here and here. We'll need my air gun, and we should be able to turn this one orange. Bingo. All right, and then we should be able to hopefully put a chest here, and then in theory the drill can go right there, and then everything should function. I forgot the chest, so we'll have to wait a second while I put away. Yeah, no, no. well, yeah, I guess these would go here, because that stuff up there is, like, for plastic and stuff. So, yeah, let's go. Oh, wait, no, I need that. I need to run this air pressure bingo awesome you're gonna get the speed upgrades all right cool so now we're going to need a chest and we're going to need the program um <clears throat> actually let's take a look at that what does it take to make the drill i think yeah i have what's necessary to make the drill i can just go ahead and make the drill real quick because i have the stuff Right? I made enough, didn't I? Let's assume I'm right. Okay, so we need a diamond, which, whoops, wrong floor. Uh, I'll be so glad when I get this all set up so I can put in the elevators. The real elevators, not these magic y jump to make things work teleporty elevators that I do truly love, by the way. I, I love these elevators, they're really amazing, but. I actually want to use the pneumatic craft elevators because they are going to you be awesome. You might say they give you a lift. <clears throat> oh, God, Max. Um, what did I come down here for? I got distracted now. Oh, I need a chest. And we're going to use an iron chest because reasons. It helps to keep your arms apart. Okay. Having a chest. Okay, we were bleeding off. Okay, I don't know why we were... I heard... Me, I, okay, it just turned off. Never mind. Yes, I, I got the joke, Max. I just don't know what to do with it, because, you know, you and jokes. By the way, the server was acting all kinds of weird and wonky while you were gone. Thank you for coming back and making it come back to life and work again. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so now we have all this stuff here, and this should now function. Now we just need the program. Now, since I have the drill, I want to go ahead and make the both programs together. One is going to require red dye with emeralds around it. And the other one is going to require emeralds around a diamond. So we should be able to make that really quickly. And then we should have the entire assembly line up and functional and ready to roll. So gems and dyes... We're going to need 16 emeralds, which is actually pretty expensive. I'm actually really fortunate that I did a, uh, I ran a quarry in the, um, that place with the stuff and the guy. For some reason, I cannot think of the name of this stupid thing. Extreme Hills in the Extreme Hills biome. Um, and of course, now that he still hasn't made the villagers that make it so you have to hunt down the villagers and buy these things from the villagers. But as long as he's not going to do that, I'm not going to, you know, worry about it because reasons. All right, cool. So we now have this set up. It says it's required to have three and a half to five to function. I didn't realize it was going to be like that, but that's cool. All right. So now if we want to actually, let's, you know what? Let's see. Does this thing have a recipes button? Assembly controller status. Good. Problems? No problems. Got plenty of air pressure. Good. 
Upgrades available, volume security, and speed. Speed's the only one I care about. But I don't think we have a place to click to show me all of the possible things to make. So let's just... Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some advanced pressure tubes. Because I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, they changed the way the advanced pressure tubes look. And I'm not really sure how they're going to actually work now. Now that's not what I want to make. I want to make these. Ah, that's why. Okay. Let's make some advanced pressure tubes and see. Because this should work, I think. If I put this in here. Why aren't you working? You got upgrades, you've got pressure. Laser and drill, what's the problem? Can the, no, it should be working. Let's see, advanced pressure tube, yeah. Assembly platform, IO, IO, and the laser. Oh, I so a combined program now. Okay, well, let's find out. Let's see, let's see the drill and the laser. Okay, so we're gonna put emeralds around a rose at red and see if it's because I've got the wrong program. Now, that will be very interesting if you can combine the two programs, but then it won't work unless it requires that program. That would actually be horribly disappointing. Because I thought the whole purpose of getting both of them was that it wouldn't be a problem. Hmm. Alright, one laser program. Alright, now let's change this to just the laser program. And see if it suddenly starts working. And yes, it suddenly starts working. Wow, that is 16 kinds of disappointing. It actually wouldn't work because it had a laser and drill program. Okay, well that's cool. Well, now we have uh, the knowledge of that. <coughs> so, uh, cool. So we have the advanced pressure to program, and now we can make, uh, we can assemble some things. No more UV light box. No more etching acid. As a matter of fact, just to celebrate that, let's go ahead and make some PCBs because we're going to be needing them. Awesome. Creeper plant seeds. Oh, by the way, I also changed this up while all this other etching was going on. Put that and that in there. Now, basically, I have it set up now so that this, instead of going into a hopper up there, goes directly into the chamber itself. Uh, this will transfer four items at once instead of the singles that were being brought through by the hoppers. So now that that is going, the chambers will open and close, uh, you know, four at a time instead of one at a time. So they'll, you know only do it one fourth as much so let's see and ooh, no 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 bad 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 well that didn't work out very nicely now did it <sighs> we'll just wait and see how many I wound up with cuz eh, here have some more iron All right, and we're not working now because our pressure is down too much because of the uh, <clears throat> because of the uh, ports opening and closing too much. So once the ports stop opening and closing, the pressure will build back up, and we will be good to go. Are you guys? What are you doing? Why are you? Okay, it's being a little touchy at this point. I don't know why. Every now and then, these things hang up just a little bit. I don't know exactly why it is, but they do. Alright, well, we're going to let these run for just a second until it gets the PCBs, and then we will show you the lasers working on them, and then that will be it. So, we'll be back in just a second. All right, now the pressure is built back up. We have some PCBs that are made, by the way, making a full set of a stack of PCBs up here. Not really the smartest idea I've ever had because um, this chest can only hold so much and they don't stack. So 
yeah, we'll have to do something about that. But uh, that's something for some other time. So now we should be able to put these in here. And they should already be working. Awesome. No more etching acid. No more UV light box. I realize that you guys didn't see it happen. But, uh, you know, because to you guys, this is all half hour an episode. Everything worked just perfectly. But uh, trust me, it was a lot of effort. It was a royal pain in the butt. And, uh, ooh, so this actually is eating things up because too much speed upgrades. Let's take some of these out. Yeah, there we go. Now we're working, but we're not eating the air pressure too much. You got to be careful when putting the speed upgrades. Speed upgrades equals uh, faster use of air, and air can only travel so fast through these pipes. Now, here's an interesting side thought. The advanced pressure tube, I went ahead and put one in here. Its maximum pressure is 20 bars. Now, i got to figure out what the advantage of having 20 bars of pressure is. The other thing I need is to figure out how I can store pressure. Uh, I need to have like an air tank, an air canister, to where I can store this pressure and have it available for use and have it only output at a certain rate. Because having these things burn is cool and all, but uh, there's got to be a way to store. You know, Any, any machinery-based uh, mod is going to have some sort of energy storage or some sort of means to store energy. So uh, this mod's energy is air pressure, so I mean, there's got to be a way to do it. So we're going to try to figure that out. And uh, next episode, we're going to come back and we are going to play with drones because I want to and we have to and, yeah, drones. So until next time, this is Jurnite signing off on episode 10 of Pandemicraft. And remember, help spread the gaming.